Okay, I'm, I've moved out of my garden today and uh, I'm going to do another how to play a song by XTC. Um, now it's 2022, so it's the 40th anniversary for English Settlements. I've got a couple of English Settlement songs I'm hoping to do. I tried to do more of these in lockdown in my garden, but every time I sat down, like got the camera set up, you know, a delivery would come or my dog would come running in or something and uh, never quite worked out. Uh, so today I'll try my luck in my front room with um, All of a Sudden. And uh, it's one of the easier songs on the record. Still, it's got a couple of tricky bits, at least to figure out. Two guitars, bass, drums. So it's got an acoustic six string plus an electric 12 string bass and drums. Now, this is important because it messes up some of the inversions. So um, I'm not going to do the bass line, but I'm just going to point out a couple of places uh, where the bass changes the inversion of what you hear in the guitar. Um, so I've seen a couple of uh, other people do some videos of this song. Not quite got a few things. In part, you can't blame them because the inner parts are really tricky to hear. So more or less in D major starts with a D sus4, that's got a G on top, and you rake uh, that chord down, and then you play a descending scale in the key of D, but starting on G, down to F sharp. You land on F sharp major 7, first inversion, it's partridge special, it's got the fifth in the bass. Okay, now what do you expect when you hear F7? I expect resolution to B. That comes later. That's the surprise for the middle eight. Now the verse chords. You have to finger this slightly unusually, the D, because you're going to need to hammer on a C sharp uh, with your little finger. Now, the bass, however, goes so you might hear A is the lowest note, which is right, right? Colin's trying to fix this. This is functioning as an A chord, even though you'll hear Andy play, at least on one of the parts of the verse. D, C sharp, and the rest of his D major chord. Now, in the second verse, you'll hear Dave play some slightly different things on the 12 string, where he plays so you hear E's in there. Again, you could imagine him reacting and thinking, well, Andy's singing E here, but strumming away on a D. That's not unusual, uh, or XDC, <laughs> anyway. It's unusual for most other groups. Okay, so let's get this verse going. Then it's, Six. Come back to the verse. Okay, after the F six, now E minor seven. Life's like a jigsaw. You get the strength. B flat major again. Second inversion. So you got the um, fifth in the bass. C sharp, full diminished, but Dave plays tritones. C sharp, G. Uh, C sharp, G, C sharp. Two octaves there. E, F sharp. So you hear that the chord. C sharp, full diminished to D. Okay, normal. Then, all of a sudden, F, again, now we're going up that same D major scale, this time starting on F sharp. 
and you only make it as far as D, so you can go up a sixth. We find the cover band of the sun. Find it out there. Now uh, it was just, just D and A, mercifully. We find the sun on We find that we've lost love. C major, then we just have passing notes in the bass. Seven sus four. Now this chord really is functioning as an E. Well, it's got D in the bass. D is the, the lowest note. G sharp. D. E. So really, it's substituting for that. But what you have is the seventh in the bass. Cool thing about the flat five is, jazz is alto will just say, this is a standard substitution for a dominant chord. It's got that tritone. And so when the, the acoustic guitar, uh, the electric 12 string has these open chords, and, and you hear go. Third inversion, E7, flat five chord. Now it does resolve to the A. And you repeat the opening. Okay, kind of ambiguous, and on F sharp seven after all that. Then you get a second verse. Now if you're singing this and playing the guitar, I notice Andy avoids, for, not all the time, but this F sharp, because he sings E. Now back to F6. Up to D. All of a sudden, this again. Repeats again. We find the lost love. Please don't push your shoes. Same thing again. to be for the middle eight. Love's not a product. B. Then passing A in the bass, functioning as B7. Not a product. E. You can F sharp back a C sharp. C sharp minor with? G sharp minor. It's more with A. sure he actually plays the D sharp here, but he sings D sharp over A. Again, uh, this happens in a lot of XDC songs. Uh, you could play it with you, but play it with it. Now, the band moves up to B, and he sings C sharp. I'd play over the C sharp. There's no third, so it's B no third uh, with a ninth. Okay. 
Now, so. section that repeats something, a transposition of the um, flat five chord earlier. Now you voice this high, like an A chord, D in the bass, and you flatten the fifth on top. I'm hitting much again on bench here. goes to C6 and Dave just plays this C6. If you watch the video, which, which I did when I was learning this song, who's doing what here? You can see him gives a big uh, C6 there. So minor seven again, but This is a really cool progression, I think, because you watch this descending line on the top string, E, D sharp, down to C, right from my C6 chord, then down a semitone to B from the, in the E minor seven, then down to B flat for the B flat chord. Now B flat is gonna be an enharmonic equivalent as part of the C sharp uh, full diminished chord, it's not going to act as A sharp. So if I want to revoice that, that's the underlying resolution in there. Really cool. So on. Again, A7, sus uh, four, my E flat five seven in the bass. Thinking, why does he keep calling that an E chord? It's D and G sharp in the bass. Get my E's up here. Then it ends with this. Cool. 